All right, and welcome back. We're here at Viatri's Pub in Trade Meet. And I guess last night, Lily left a text by Jahira's bed called On Avoidance of Anger, written by the sage H. Cradle. A text on how to dampen the fires of man's failing grace anger. Whether she read any of it, or if it'll uh, help control some of her repeated outbursts, I think uh, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> and what am I talking about? Thanks to Dagith, who uh, he actually doesn't even have a YouTube account. He's been following the series, though, and was kind enough to send me an email. He thinks uh, he knows what the problem is, and he proposed a solution for it. And it has to do with uh, romance, options, and dialogue that uh, supposedly Jahira is stuck in because, of course, uh, the game won't allow Lily to romance Jahira. So, specifically, her local love talk variable was set to 8. Why it's advanced at all, I'm not even sure. But, presumably, advancing it to 9 will fix this issue. So I've done that. We'll see uh, what the effects are. Hopefully, Jahira won't start flirting with uh, Lily. That would just be awkward. Not because she's female, but because... Uh, Lily looks at her almost as like an ant. <laughs> so, so we'll see what happens. Nature's servant awaits. Otherwise, uh, we're actually going to wait a little bit longer. It's uh, still before sunrise. I await your knee. What? And uh, Lily would like to see a bit of. Never had rats. No, sorry. A bit of trade meat before we leave. So. I don't expect anybody to be out in the street until uh, after sunrise, at least. All right. Yes. Yeah, she'd like to see uh, Mazzy in action. See how well she performs. Also, uh, I think she'd like to visit with some of the merchants, even though they're probably not conducting business. Maybe to speak with a few of them. Plus, a few other things we might want to look at around town. So I think the first probably stop by. Um, yeah, the market square, I guess. Hopefully this won't stir up any trouble. <laughs> Walking around with, uh, Jahira. Liza, I guess? Is that how you pronounce that name? A little girl? Again, uh... Possibly alone. Yes? You're a stranger. Saying her parents were killed by wolves. Now she has to go to an orphanage. I'm not sure what this word is. Maudlin brats. There's a derogatory reference to halflings? I'm not sure. You know, she gave a <laughs> coin to that street urchin in the docks district in Afkatla. <laughs> not sure she wants to uh, fall for another trick. She's going to offer her condolences. <laughs> she watched as the wolves. Wow, ate her parents, crying and leaving. Oh, all right. I am ready. All right, here's a peddler. Probably shouldn't have uh, Jahira speak with the townsfolk. I think Mazzy will uh, speak with him. Hi, friend. Boy, it's <laughs> awfully noisy here. Are recognizing us as strangers, actually. Saying he doesn't have the goods to sell us. He's a peddler without wares. Alright. Two philosophers, Huntley and Wallace. I 
On the off chance that Wallace might be a merchant, I think, uh... I am yours to command. At least speak with him. I am telling you, my brother, the correct way to approach life is to accept its travails. One must bend as the willow and see the obstacles that the gods place in front of you as challenges to be overcome. Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle we grow stronger. Only the strong survive. And I am not your brother. <laughs> Strength comes... This is the other philosopher responding. Strength comes through wisdom and pliance. One must be flexible to accept the things that come. Struggle only brings futility, my son. Struggle and adversity bring strength, not futility. War and violence weed out the weak and unhealthy, strengthening it all. And I'm not your son. Alright, going back and forth here. War and violence are for the weak-minded. It's a result of failure rather than success. Let me show you what comes out of that philosophy, friend. I guess calling to Huntley. <laughs> yeah, boss. Show him what becomes of his philosophy. Right, boss. <laughs> Away with you. Well, who's looking to get Everyone involved with this? <laughs> Be gone, commoner. I have my own business to attend to. Well, now I suppose you were right, after all. Dead right. If I get the last word, <laughs> calling a Huntley to go. This isn't right. We're supposed to be better than this. Simply wanted to speak with Wallace. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Yeah, he has no wares either. Speak your mind. Ah, yes, the city. With all its people and their accumulated wealth. Science? As long as you're not the tax man. Alright, warning us about the uh, distrustful townsfolk. Just curious uh, if he knows anything unique about the animal attacks. Saying that his uh, brother-in-law was nearly mauled by a jaguar. Even the plants writhed and grabbed at us. There's a dark force at work here. Okay, now he's talking about CERN, who's uh, was imprisoned but has been released. So he has no supplies to sell either. And trade meat's almost out of food. I don't think we heard that. Who are you? All right, a boy. <laughs> Scared of strangers. Nature's servant awaits. All right, so that was the Merchant Square, I think. Or is this the continuation of it? Boy, I hope it's not as loud in the video as it is, uh... The ears. Boy, look at this. It looks like a fish market. <laughs> I am ready, I think. All right, Yoshi finding a fire opal ring. Await your need. Or more children out in the street. What is it? You're a stranger. <laughs> Lily scaring more of them, I guess, with her uh, skin condition. Alright, sounds like... Alright, here are more animals. Yes. So she's gonna ask Mazzy... Something amiss? Arverine, guide my blade! <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Lily's not entirely displeased. I am ready. Boy, more children. Roddy. Looks like uh, he's probably in care of these horses and cows. Yes? Who are you? Um, so I think we'll, uh, she'd like to see the temple. I think on the way out, she's going to stop by the Taojin tents. Backer Estate with guards out front. <laughs> I think we passed it. That's not the entrance. Where on earth? Oh, here it is. Okay. Actually, this does look. Uh, so that must be the portrait of Wow Keen in the initial courtyard, if you remember. What? Certainly interesting. So I think we've seen uh, the Temple of Joaquin in the government district in Othkotla. This is the same interior. Exactly, almost. Overgold Renwellen. And Borrel. Alright, so... Speaking with the Overgold. I welcome you with outstretched hand. You yeah, may be a little surprised at maybe how welcoming he is. Joaquin is the goddess of trade. How would it look if I turned you away simply because we've never met? Talking about the townsfolk, do not think too harshly of them. Alright. Potions of mind focusing a genius. It's good to know. Zipped up. Oh, potions of extra healing. Okay. Your mind. So I think uh, these are private estates. But yeah, I think she at least wanted to stop by the Smith. Well, I'm sure she's uh, convinced. Not as talented as uh, Cromwell. <laughs> Sir Patrick and Mistress, Mistress Mara. Look at this fountain. I wonder if that's Joaquin in the fountain. Nature's servant awaits. Rissa looks like a peasant woman. Okay. 